Hey guys, welcome back. Being a doctor, we are told is a very noble profession. And being one, you can work at a big hospital, have your own clinic, work with the army or like our guest today, Dr. Kamal Raj, you can work for the World Health Organization at the United Nations. This is a new segment of being a doctor that I have heard of. Can't wait to hear your insights. Let's just get on with the video. Hi, I'm Kamal Raj. I'm a medical doctor, a public health physician. I worked in 30 countries in conflicts, uh, in wars, and also wherever there are communicable diseases, and I have been working in those countries. I studied uh, my medicine from uh, Osmania University, Hyderabad, and I did my psychiatry from England. And then I went to Sweden to study my clinical nutrition. And uh, I did my public health epidemiology from uh, Atlanta, US. Soon after I graduated from my medical school, I went to Iraq. I was uh, recruited by International Red Cross. I went to Iraq and then started working during the Gulf War. And that was a time I was working in a hospital treating uh, war victims. Um, since that time, I should say that uh, things changed. That's, that's when my career has completely changed from a clinician to a public health physician. Yeah, I think my family had an influence on me why I become a medical doctor because my grandfather was a doctor. My father, he studied medicine and uh, my older brother, he also studied medicine and uh, I think in a way it was an indirect pressure on me to go to medical school. And when I finished my medical school, my work in Iraq during the war also had a huge impact on why I chose to take this uh, career path. Yeah, I really like field work. I'm a people's person. I like communicating, I like uh, working in community, witnessing visible change. It's very gratifying and fulfilling when treating infections, treating patients, saving lives of vulnerable population in need. But this is not possible when you sit in big offices. You know, I like to be in the field. I really enjoy being in the field. Security has never been a problem. When I go to the UN, and there's always a convoy, a going convoy, UN really, really takes good care of their staff. Security is their top priority. So uh, going to wars or going to insecure areas, I always get very secure working in the UN. So I just want to let everyone know that it's very safe. Diversification happens automatically, you know, with your exposure and uh, the kind of responsibilities. I started treating malaria, and then soon after malaria, I got into Ebola outbreak in uh, Uganda and other places. I am now in my own country with COVID. See, it changes. So working in wars as a country director, managing people, uh, so now I grew from a medical doctor to a project coordinator. Now I'm like a, a member of a senior management. So this is not a diversity. There is a growth in it. And so you diversify, you grow diversify from, from your experience. I see more and more uh, masters in public health graduates uh, graduating from public health schools. If you are a epidemiologist, you know, you're you're in demand you know, as an epidemiologist. So now you also have these uh, doctors, medical doctors doing the community medicine, uh, uh, applying for UN jobs, applying for public health jobs. So definitely uh, it's, it's something that I would encourage people to apply for public health jobs. It's evolved. I think, uh, 
dealing with the daily conflicts uh, with armed groups, uh, fighting with the violence, uh, and providing relief to the victims of natural calamities. I think these are the areas I was uh, most proud of my career was involved with. It took five to six years for me to become an expatriate. So once you become an expatriate, I think uh, you are you are on the right track. WHO picks uh, people with a good technical background. I think it, uh, it is more to do with my education, uh, with my experience uh, from the countries, and I published in various articles. Uh, to explore, find out what you are good at. It. Be sincere, be sincere to yourself, and don't stop learning. Be nice to everyone. It's truly noble that you get to work in countries that are unable to afford for proper health care like underdeveloped countries and countries in war zones. Sir, I'm sure you have inspired a lot of budding doctors and doctors out there to choose your profession today. For everyone to hear more insights into various other careers, please like, share, subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon. See you.